Hi children, let's do a new exercise. We are going to compare numbers. Comparison of numbers. Okay, what is the meaning of comparison? If you have number 2 in one and 2 in the other, both the numbers are equal. Then we put the equal sign. If you have a big number and a small number, then we say greater sign. Or if you have a big number, small number and a big number, we have greater sign, lesser sign. So we go to do three things. Is it equal? Are the two numbers equal? One bigger, smaller? Comparing. Comparing of numbers. That's called comparison. We'll be given two sets of numbers and you do the comparison and find out what sign to put. Is it equal? Is it greater or lesser? Let's look at the sums now and enjoy working on comparison of numbers. Look, we have beautiful two boxes and two three-digit numbers. First box, we have three-digit number 211. In the next box, we have 513. One is 211. 513 and they are asking us which is big definitely 500 is big 200 is less so we say this 513 is bigger than 211 or 211 is less than 513 this is the less sign is pointing towards the less 211 is less than 513. Comparing two numbers. Did you like it? Let's take the next set of numbers. Kurt, here we are. We have two three digit numbers. Here we have 876. 876. 599. Compare the two numbers, which is big, which is small. You have 599, 500. Here we have 876. Certainly, 876 is bigger. So we put 876 or greater than this number. So 876 greater than or bigger than 599. Did you enjoy? Good. Let's take another set. Then let's learn to compare here. We have here three digit number in both signs. 600 and 600. What? This is 600. This is 600. Now what about these? Though both the numbers are equal. 600 600. So we put the equal sign to small line. This number 600 is equal to 600. So we learned three signs now. Okay. This is called equal sign. 600 equal to 600. Same numbers on both sides. Greater than, less than and equal. So, three signs we learned in comparing numbers. Let's take another set of numbers. Look, we have two three-digit numbers here. 456, 987. There are two numbers. 456. 400 is small, but 900 is big. So, we say... 456 is less than 987. This is the less sign. 456 is less than 987. Did you like it? Yes. Now let's take another sum. Look. Here we are. Again we have three digit numbers. This time, here you have 657, 657, 
323. So which is the big number? Certainly 600. 657 is greater than, bigger than 323. So we put the sign, greater sign here. Because 600 is big, this is the greater sign. 657 is bigger than or greater than 323. Yes? Good. Did you learn how to compare now? Yes, it always, the number, small numbers, always pointing toward the arrow. Let's take another set of numbers. Look, here in the first box we have 441, 441 and here you have 441 too. Are both the numbers same? 441, 441. What sign we do we use here? Equal sign. Two small lines are put here equal. This 441 is equal to this 441. Both the set of numbers are same. 441 equal to 441. Yes, equal sign. We compare the two numbers and find they are equal. 441 equal to 441. Let's go on with another set of numbers. Here, in the first set of number we have 565 and in the next box we have 832. This is 800, this is 500. So we say 565 is less than, smaller than 832. So we place the sign. 565 is, we put the sign, less sign, less than, smaller than. That's a sign for this number, is smaller than 832. I said, always the arrow point toward the small number. So, 565 is smaller than 832. Okay? Let's take another sum and learn to compare. We have in the first box 711. 711. And in the other box we have 622. 711, 622. Now, which is big? It's 6 or 7? Certainly 7. 711 is greater than, bigger than. So we put the sign greater than or bigger than 622. 600 is small, so the arrow points toward the 600. 711 greater than, bigger than 622. Yes? Did you enjoy? Let's go on to another new number and let's compare and see which is bigger equal or smaller in both the boxes we have 888 808 both the numbers 888 888 both the boxes we have 3838 therefore which is big they are both same. 888 is equal to 888. Both the boxes numbers are same. So we put the sign equal to two equal signs. 888 equal to 888. Good. Did you enjoy? Let's take another set of numbers for us to compare. Look. In the first box we have 200. 56, 256 and in the next box we have 487, 200 and here 400, double. So 200 is small, 400 is big, so we say 256 is smaller than, less than 487. We have here 
256 is smaller than or less than 487. Good. Very good. Now, let's take another set of numbers and let's compare both the numbers. Here in the first box we have 457. Read this. 457. In the next box we have 202. 202. 457. 202. Definitely 200. Here is 400 is big. Therefore, 457 is greater than or bigger than 202. So, we put the sign, greater sign here. 457 is greater than or bigger than 202. Yes, this is a greater sign. And it points toward the small number, the arrow. Let's take another set of numbers and let's compare them. Look, here you have 760 in the first box, 760 in the next box, 760, 760. Are both the numbers same? Yeah, they are equal. 760 is equal to 760. This number and this number both are equal. 760, 760. Good. Shall we go to another sum? Look what we have here. In the first box, we have 915. What is this? 915. And here you have 918. This is 15. This is 18, 900, 900. So, which is big, 15 or 18? Certainly, 18 is bigger. So, we say 915 is less than, less than or smaller than 918. So, this number is small. So, the arrow point towards this. 915 is less than 918. Yes, did you enjoy? Let's take another set of numbers and compare them. Here you have 333. What is this? 333, 222. 200, here yeah, 300. So, which is big? 300. 333 is bigger than greater than 222. So, we put the greater sign here. Yes, 333 greater than, bigger than 222. Let's take another set of numbers. Here we have 190. 190, 190, 190. In the next box, we have 190, 190, 190. So, we say 190 is equal to 190 over there. So, we put the equal sign here. 190 is equal to 190. Both the numbers are same. Good. Good. 